Submitting final grades is a process that can involve a lot of paperwork and time-consuming procedures. It's not something that any of us enjoy. My name is Jason Valland, and I want to talk to you about a new way of grading. It's called WebGrade, and it's available to all instructors here at Baruch. In fact, to show you how easy it is to use WebGrade, I'm going to, from Japan, go into this internet cafe right outside of Mount Fuji and submit my grades electronically. Here's how the system works. On the first day of exams, you'll be able to log into WebGrade and set a password for each of your course sections. For security, you'll need to set the password for each of your course sections before you can enter any grades. You have to set a password for each course, but you can use the same password if you're teaching more than one course. The only rule is that the password be at least six characters long and include at least one letter and one number. The password is also case sensitive. To set your password, Simply direct your web browser to www.baruch.cuny.edu slash webgrade slash password. Once there, enter your last name and your password, which is the last six digits of your social security number. Select login and you'll see a page listing all of your courses. For this example, I see that I'm teaching four courses. The first column, password status, tells me that the password is not set for any of my course sections. I'm going to enter a password for my first course and click on Set Password. WebGrade confirms that the password has been set, changing the password status to Set. I'll continue setting the passwords for the remainder of my course sections. When I've finished, I'm going to click on the Go to your course section roster link so I can enter the grades for my courses. I'm now at my course listing page in WebGrade. In the future, I can get to WebGrade by typing in www.baruch.cuny.edu slash WebGrade. Okay, now we can enter our grades. Select the course you'd like to work on, enter your password, and press the Roster button. Now you'll see a list of students and possible grades. I can enter the student's grades by simply clicking on the circle above the appropriate grade. If at any time I need to leave the session and return later, I can just select the Preview Grades button below the roster. In preview mode, I can press Save Grades and Return to Grade Roster to save the work I've already done and return at a later time to finish. You should preview and save your grades at least every 15 minutes. Otherwise, the system will time out and you'll lose any grades entered during the session. Once I'm done grading, I'll choose the Proceed to Final Grade Confirmation button. After verifying the grades, I'll enter my email address twice and click on Submit Grades to Registrar. Before WebGrade sends the grades, I'll be prompted to confirm that I actually want to submit the data. This measure helps to protect against inadvertent submissions. Once I've submitted my grades, WebGrade presents me with a copy of my final grade roster that I can print for my records. Well, that was easy. I logged in, set my passwords, entered my grades, and submitted them to the Registrar. If I check my email now, I'll notice that WebGrade has emailed me with the grades, and it's also emailed my department, so we both have copies of the grades with confirmation numbers and timestamps. I'm Jason Belland, proving that WebGrade is so easy, it can even be done from overseas. Now, I've got some hiking to do. Happy grading. For more information about WebGrade, choose any of the links on this page. Here you have access to information about the WebGrade system, grading policy, due dates, and more. If you're using the system and are having technical problems, just dial 646-312-1010 for the help desk. If you have questions about your roster or grading options, just dial 646-312-1150 for the registrar.